today we are providing a class for educators within the state of Utah, preschool through uh, secondary schools, to learn about concealed carry and proper gun handling and gun laws. Can I point again? Yep, raise it up. Go ahead and pull the hammer back. Bang. In wake of what has happened within Newtown, Connecticut, we would like to educate our teachers and provide them with the necessary tools and information needed to help protect their students in an event of such of a tragedy in their classroom or within their school. I think criminals might hit schools on purpose because they're easy sitting targets, but if they knew that teachers were prepared, they would be less likely to go in because it's not just an easy in-out job. To go. I could go up and over. Okay, what happens if there was a balcony up there and there was nuns and puppies up there? <laughs> and in Utah as well as in Kansas, Concealed weapon permit holders can actually carry a weapon within their classroom or on school property. Um, and so we're just trying to give them the information to do what they would like to do going forward. Anyway, so this is an actual law. Okay. And there is one way to get this thing to fire. I could drop it, it won't fire. I could hammer the back of it, it won't fire. It's important because if we have the legal opportunity to, to uh, change a the situation They're in the wrong. <laughs> and we're trained, I think we should be able to do it. And it is legal in Utah, so for teachers to carry. So um, I actually just bought a bra holster. I know that's a lot of information, but um, nobody can see it. Students wouldn't know. Nobody would know. But if something happened, I could easily get it, and it stays on me all day. That right dot. Then go ahead and slide back. Finger on trigger. This pulse is a little bit low.